I'm very scared of Jazz. She likes to break things. <laughs> from Pretty Much Geeks and today I'm doing my first ever rig build. I'm a little bit nervous but mostly just excited because I haven't been able to game in a while due to not clearing out space on my current computer to be honest. I have been gathering all the parts for this for a few months. To be honest I don't really know much about any of this. I've been talking to a lot of people who do know and they've been giving me lots of tips on what parts to get, how to fit it all into my budget. So huge thanks to Simon aka Malvis for all his advice. I have watched a few videos as well, but I do have an on-hand technician here today, Leon, who will be helping me out. Okay, so first off, we're starting with the motherboard. I got a Gigabyte B550, it means a lot to me. I'm not 100% sure on all the reasons we went with this, it fits in the case. And also we have the third gen um, processor with the Ryzen 5 CPU, which we'll be installing on first. So I was going to get a grounding wristband to look super professional because you've got to be really careful about um, static electricity, but I went to PB Tech, they didn't have any, and the guy just gave me these for free, so he said that that's what they use, so I guess it's good enough for me too. <laughs> Alright, we've got the CPU ready to go, and now Leon's going to come and show me what to do. I think I know. I'll, I'll try and yeah, do, try I mean, it, yeah. can't you come here yeah, and I'll see what I remember. And there's a tiny little gold arrow, which... And so you line that up with this tiny little not obvious arrow here. Okay, cool. That is done. All right, do we do this next? Yeah, so you'll need to unscrew the um, screws there. Um, our friend Tony Lee on Facebook suggested using double-sided sticky tape to keep your screws like not rolling around, which is definitely something I was worried about because I'm very prone to just sweeping things off tables and losing them forever. So this is a really handy little trick. So we've gone with the Trident Z Neo 16 gigabytes of RAM and we'll open that hopefully very easily and install it now. Fiction time. <laughs> yep, yeah, looks good. Cool. Now what? <laughs> so if I'm honest, the thing that made me want to build my first PC was this case. I saw it online and I was like, oh, it's pretty and it's pink. And then I saw that it's called the Gemini Queen, which is basically what I am because I'm a Gemini and I was born on Queen's birthday weekend. So there you have it. This was destiny and it's the whole reason. I decided to spend two grand on a computer. <laughs> there you have it. In all its pink glory. <laughs> it's not just me, is it? It's really cute. <laughs> Jazz is a green. So what's this called? The IO, IO Shield. IO Shield. Oh, face later. Yeah, but I think IO Shield's the correct term. I prefer face plates, it's simpler. That way. Okay. Oh, Maybe I'm gonna, because I just can't really see, so I'm gonna pop it up this way. Your turn. Okay, don't do it on its side where you can't actually see what you're doing. <laughs> when you pop it up here, you can actually see all the sides, so that was a lot easier. Ah, uh, yes. So putting the power supply in. Yes. Really fat. So many cables. Okay. Now we need to do the cable management. Right. So you don't want all of these cables just hanging out there. This is so like unmovable, these wires. Okay, that clicked in. 
interesting. So for the graphics card, I've gone with the GeForce RTX 2060 Super. For some reason, it was affordable. It was very affordable. <laughs> They're installing the hard drives now. This is the SSD one, which I've got one terabyte, and then this guy, three terabytes, because I am a hoarder of photos and videos. People keep saying, just sort them out, sort them out. I'm like, no, I just want to keep buying bigger storage things for this. Uh, now we can check if the thing actually powers on. Oh, look at the front! I can only see it through the back, but it looks amazing. So all that, it probably took about five and a half hours. Um, we're all pretty tired, <laughs> but it was actually quite fun. I think the hardest thing was probably the cable management. There was a lot of fat wires that we didn't really need to use. So stuffing that into like the tiny compartment down here and trying to feed it through all the different holes and stuff took a little while to get right. We took the graphics card out probably like 50 million times roughly. So other than that, it was fairly simple, mostly because I had the technician Leon helping me every step of the way. So if you're like me and you're really keen to get the most out of your money, Building a PC yourself is the way to go. Um, I knew nothing and I had to ask a lot of people for a lot of help. I was lucky, I had so many people to help me out so I could get it done a lot faster. So another big thanks to Simon um, for helping me out with what components to get. And a huge thank you to Leon. Otherwise, I would have been stuck within 10 minutes just being like, ah! So it was really cool. Uh, I will definitely be building my own PCs whenever I need them in the future.